Whoa, what is up with this Electabuzz? Man's walking out like, uh... What's that one meme? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Whoa, wait, why does this guy have an exclamation mark? What the heck? You Can you catch a shiny Pokemon? What? Sure? Visit Ultra Space. Capture one shiny Pokemon. What? Wait, what was that actually? I think we just got a quest from that dude. What the heck? Oh yeah, this song definitely slaps, man. It was just a little bit loud. But I'm loving it. I, I don't think I don't think I'd even heard this song before. It's apparently the Johto Victory Battle theme from the Pokemon anime. But yeah, I think we actually just got a quest from that dude. I didn't even know quests were a thing. But apparently he wants us to get a shiny Pokemon, which I don't think we've ever found a single shiny in Pixelmon. So I don't think our chances of finding one now are very high. Unless that Swana right there is a shiny. Hold up. Togeta, I know you're poison and dying, but please fly us through the sky, my friends. I mean, friend. So I'm going to head back home and then we'll check out these quests that we got because this is actually a new thing they introduced in the latest Pixelmon update that I haven't shown off yet. And it's the addition of quests. So I think you can see there on the bottom right, if we press the M button, there's an exclamation mark and it'll show us harvest dawn like the, the character dawn they want us to harvest her that's kind of weird man we got voyager which we just got visit ultra space all that glitters catch a shiny pokemon and then doctor doctor craft a healer so we have four missions right now that we could do ultra space would probably be the most fun of them but i actually haven't seen an ultra wormhole ever since the new pixelmon update i don't know if they like changed the texture or maybe because I'm playing on uh, with shaders on. Maybe they're not spawning. Because there used to be shaders like every time. Or not shaders. There used to be an ultra wormhole right in front of our base. Like every time I would log on. But we haven't seen one in a long time. So I'm not sure if maybe the shaders I'm using are maybe not making the ultra wormhole up here or what. But I haven't seen one in a very long time. Not sure if there's an ultra wormhole command either, but yeah, hydration time and pizza time now that we're safe and sound at home. Okay, so earlier today, uh, I decided since I'm a lazy piece, well, most of the time, not, not always, but most of the time I'm pretty lazy and I want to change that, you know, but all of the gyms have been closed and I got kind of tired of doing Ring Fit Adventure. So I figured another way that I could kind of get more active is to just walk like outside, you know, even though it's kind of dangerous with the uh, the Rona, but I see people running and jogging outside all the time. And I mean, most of the time in the park that's like close to my house, there aren't really like, you can, you can stay away from people, you know, especially if you're running. It's not that hard to kind of keep your social distance. So I decided to go for a jog today. Let's just say this jog ended very quickly. In fact, we might not have even jogged at all. I'm pretty sure we walked for like five minutes playing some Pokemon Go. And then we found this pizza place. And oh my God, guys. It's like kind of a higher quality. Well, like the place looked pretty nice, all right? There was like a rooftop area. It was like open air, you know, so it's not like inside of a building. And they were open, obviously. Um, with like social distancing or whatever with the tables. Yeah, our, our jog ended in pizza, basically. <laughs> we didn't even make it one mile into the jog, dude. We just went and got pizza. And they had like some really fancy ones. Like I forgot how the, the waiter or waitress explained it. But apparently like local Chicago chefs, uh, they gave him their dough. So like the place is known for like making this special type of pizza dough. I don't, it's not deep dish, but it's like some other type that isn't normal. Oh my God. I don't have any good Pokeballs. I literally only have quick balls now, bro. Why am I even fighting this thunderous then? Hold up. I'm pretty sure I have like ultra balls or something in at the house. 
Bro, I, like, we literally just fought this Thunderous just so... You know what? I'm going to try the Lure Balls. Even though they're definitely not going to work. This guy is so low health that we might as well trust the Lure Balls. But one of them was a Butter Chicken Pizza. And oh my god, we beat Thunderous. That Butter Chicken Pizza, dude, has got to be one of the best pizzas I've had in, like... All year, basically. So I'm definitely going back to that place. Apparently, uh, their mozzarella sticks are also pretty good. They're not like traditional mozzarella sticks, like the ones that you buy frozen. You know, like the lady explained it. Like, you know how usually you get the mozzarella sticks? They're always the same shape, like a little cylinder. Theirs is a brick, dude. It's a freaking brick of cheese that they just deep fry. And I guess make into a delicious mozzarella stick. So I definitely got to go back and try those. But that butter chicken pizza, oh my lord. And I don't even have butter chicken all that often. Like, that combination was insane, dude. It was so good. I know that there was some leftovers. I'm pretty sure someone out there already ate them, though. So I guess no more butter chicken for me. That was the pizza story, though. I know it probably wasn't as exciting as maybe some of you were hoping for. But yeah, uh... That's the story of how a jog ended up in butter chicken pizza. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? What did I just do? Oh, I put the badge in the case. I was like, where did my badge go? No! But there we go, guys. We've got our sixth badge in Pixelmon at last. I didn't think it would happen, dudes, but we finally got it. As well as another gem that I'm just going to put away. And we had other Pokeballs somewhere in here. Oh, I guess we have Luxury Balls. We definitely want Ultra Balls though. So let me grab some more uh, yellow and blue Apricorns. And we'll make some more balls. I might also turn off the shaders just because I want to make sure that we're not somehow missing the Ultra Wormholes. If you guys know if there's a command to somehow like spawn an Ultra Wormhole, that'd be awesome. No Ultra Wormhole, though, but man, this looks really weird. How weird is it not using shaders, guys? Like, it's been so long, dude. This doesn't even feel like the same game anymore. You love the food stories? All right, you know what? Might be time to turn my Instagram into a foodstagram, guys. So follow my Instagram, at MunchingOrange, if you want to see some food. On my stories, at least. I'm not going to post much food on the actual gram, but in my stories, you can catch some more food. As well as the stream schedule for every week. So if there's ever a special change to the schedule, you'll see it on there. But yeah, man, this just feels like a whole different game right now. Look at this, man. I'm like actually impressed by regular. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not quite so impressed by this Grand Bull. This thing's looking really weird, actually. <laughs> I can't tell what exactly it is, but there's something off about this Grand Bull. I don't know if you guys agree. He looks a little bit too, like, humanoid. Like, he looks like a little toddler, like a kindergartner or something. Come on. There we go. About to be the food reviewer, dude. I'm about to be the next... America's next top food reviewer out here. Alright, well, my quick balls don't seem to be working out on Gramble right now. So, I think we're just going to move on past this. Uh, so... We have quests right now to harvest a red apricorn, visit ultra space, catch a shiny, and craft a healer. Out of those four, I'm guessing crafting a healer is going to be the easiest. Well, obviously harvesting a red apricorn will be the easiest. So we'll get that done real quick. And then we're going to figure out how to craft a healer because I don't think I've actually ever built myself a healer. Seriously, dude, this Gramble. Oh my God. I'm about to give up, bro. I don't I don't even care about this Gramble anymore. Do I even have one in my decks yet? No, I don't. I actually don't. Okay. One more try, bro. One more quick ball. Come on, dude. Just stay in it. Stay. <gasps> good boy. Yes, Mr. Gramble. Very good. Hey, good morning, Magneto Mom. I mean Magneto Mon. I really thought that said Magnet Mom. <laughs> like, you're the mother of magnets for some reason. Must be quite... 
No. I was going to say shocking, but I don't think shocking and magnets are quite the same thing. That's just Granbull in general. Dude, that Granbull seemed extra feisty, man. I don't know. He was looking weird and he was acting weird too. Like, look at this man. Hold up. I don't know, man. That doesn't... I feel like that's not what Granbull looks like in the actual games. Like, its head is too big and its body is too small. Pixelmon. I expected more. Come on, guys. I'm just kidding. You guys work very hard. Keep, keep up the good work, Pixelmon devs. All right. Uh, let me make some more quick balls. Oh, wait, what? Oh, pff. I literally just put a stone in there, like a big ass block instead of just a little button. And then to make great balls, we're going to need, or I mean, ultra balls, we're going to need more yellow apricorns. We can also go harvest the red one. There we go. We've completed our mission. Oh my God. What do we actually get for that? Oh, we just get another one. Kurt's footsteps. Craft a Pokeball. Oh, well, we're actually doing that right now. And then if we press N, you can actually see the full quest menu here. The Ultra Recon Squad agent wants you to travel to Ultra Space. That was not an Ultra Recon agent, bro. That looked like a regular guy. Some quests make you have to talk to the NPC that gave it in order to get the reward. Ah. Well, I have no idea who I got this quest from. Oh, wait, that one was actually, we didn't need to talk to anybody. It just ended. <coughs> Apparently we've are, we've finished all of these quests here too. Found a village, spoken to the locals. I don't know if we actually got rewards for that, but craft a healer is probably gonna be the toughest one, but also the easiest one that we can do. Bruh. How does this wiki not have the, the recipe to make the plates, but it has all the recipes that you can make with plates? Or can they not be crafted? Oh, aluminum ingot must be placed on an anvil and a hammer used on it. Ah. Okay, so we can probably just crush them down with this thing then, right? Here, let me just go ahead and... Where's my aluminum? Okay, so aluminum ingot. Put that in there. What? What? Oh, no, don't tell me I have to actually. Oh my gosh You can't do it with the mechanical anvil, bro. Come on They got me actually hammering stuff out here again. What is this 2019? What do I look like a 2019 guy? Come on, man And then I think we need either iron or aluminum more aluminum I'm not sure and then we need one diamond which I believe we should have Diamonds somewhere in here Right do we not have diamonds guys did I lose all my diamonds? Oh my god Don't tell me I lost all my diamonds, bro. I swear I actually don't have any diamonds though. This is depressing dude. Come on I don't want to go back down into the mine dude every time we go in the mine guys, you know, it doesn't end well So we back in the mine about to get some diamonds to not not night. I don't think that's how the song goes at all. But you know what? I'm gonna put away all these berries in a different spot because I think this should be for held items only. There's a lot of held items in the game. Luminous orb or moss is actually one of them. And then I'll put all my berries over here. Since it's kind of like the food items anyway. Do we have any other? Okay, we have a lot of cooked yellow, I was about to say. So we can make Ultra Balls for sure. Because for that, we just need Black Apricorns and yellow, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. And then hopefully it's yellow on the sides. Oh, come on. It's never what you want it to be, man. Of course. Why do I have so many gosh dang yellow apricorns, dude? It's always the ones that you don't need that you get. That's just life in general. Like, look at how many pink ones we got, dude. Who wants freaking love balls? Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go back down in the mine, guys. Oh boy, not looking forward to that. I'm pretty sure there was like, what, didn't I have a mine like nearby to the house? Oh my God, there it is, dude. Wait, 
This is how we can test it right now. Because I'm pretty sure the shaders have been hiding ultra wormholes form from us. So this is where we prove it right here. Oh my god, I knew it, dude. Look at that. Ultra wormhole gone. Wow. The shaders have been deceiving us this whole time, dude. Can you find diamonds in ultra space? Maybe. Even if we can't, bro, we're going for it. Because we haven't been to ultra space in so long, dudes. That we're definitely going to go right now. Since that's a mission we've got, too. So let me just grab these last few stones to make some buttons. We'll craft a Pokeball. Since that's one of our missions, too. Oh, God, wait. These are discs still. Oh, no. I forgot I'm supposed to smelt them. Oh, jeez. I really hope the Ultra Wormhole doesn't despawn, dude. You know what? No, never mind. We don't got time for this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this with me. Give me that. We're going to Ultra Space, guys. This is it. We don't want to risk the Ultra Wormhole disappearing. No! I hate this game, dude. <laughs> Why? Why do I even talk, dude? Like, it's it feels like I legit jinx myself every time. Every time, dude. Come on. All right. Well, that's fine. I mean, at least there's a Meganium here, which we definitely don't have yet. So let's try to catch one. And maybe another Ultra Wormhole will spawn by then. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, nice. We got Meganium first try, though. Look at that. Ooh, boy. Perfectly shaped. Oh, that is actually oddly satisfying to watch. It's at least a nice, like, ASMR after that disappointment, you know? You gotta have something satisfying. Bro, I can't believe that just happened, though. Like, really? Why do I feel like this always happens to me, dude? Maybe because it actually really does always happen to me. Like, literally every time an ultra wormhole spawns and then it just... <sighs> make me sad. All right, well, let's just smelt the rest of these now that we've got time. And at least do the mission to craft a Pokeball. Boom! Wait, what? We just did it. How come the it didn't complete it? Your first step to becoming a successful trainer is creating your own balls. Your party won't build itself. Do I have to like actually hammer it myself? Is that like part of the mission? We have to hammer our own? If so, then I mean, let's try it then. Maybe an actual Pokeball, not Ultra Ball. Oh, you know, you guys are too smart for this, man. My big boomer brain, no worky. That is probably what it means. So let's get some Pokeball discs. And just for fun, just for good old time's sake. Uh, we're going to hammer them down ourselves. With the red hammer too. Oh my. Did that really just happen? <laughs> I hammered it down with the Pokeball disc itself. Wait, I think we lost the disc. Bro, we just lost the disc. Oh, it's over there, actually. Okay, we're fine now. We're okay. There it is, lid, bottom, up, and there's the Pokeball. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna have a lot of buttons now. Did we get a reward for that quest? No, but we got two new ones. With your newly acquired ball, you are ready to try and add a new Pokemon to your party. Catch a fire type. And then we gotta craft a great ball as well, moving on up. I mean, while we're here, we might as well, right? Got the cooked red apricorn. We need some blue ones, too. Pretty sure it's going to be like this. Yep. And then we put those in there. Or actually, in here. Hopefully another ultra wormhole spawns, dude, by the time we're done, like, crafting all of these, because... I don't know. I was pretty hyped to go to the ultra space, actually. Boom! Boom! Moving on up in the world, man. Another quest complete. I don't think we're actually getting any, like, rewards for him, though. But, I mean, it's nice to at least, like... Oh, Elite Four ready? Wait a minute. For a second, I really thought that 
there was going to be an Elite Four or something. But now they just want us to craft an Ultra Ball, which we have plenty of here. Or I guess the materials to craft them. So there we go. Moving on up even more. The Pinnacle of Silk Co. Oh my god. Find a Master Ball. We're never going to get that done, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we were on our way to crafting a healer. So I guess we should just stick to that. And maybe craft a... Or catch a fire Pokemon while we're looking for this diamond that we need for the healer. Uh, lure balls. I forgot what those do. They're better on countered by fishing. Okay. Let's put away these. We'll keep everything else in our inventory. I guess we don't really need the string. I'll put that away. I really can't believe we lost all of our diamonds though. Like how dude? Oh, I'm so disappointed. What's up Merrick man? How you doing? I myself am very good. Nice and stuffed with delicious pizza. We've got a gym down already. Like I'm feeling pretty accomplished this stream, I gotta say, even though I guess all we did was literally take down that stream. That alone feels pretty rewarding, I guess. Give us your seed. You know what? At the end of this world, when all is done, I'll upload the world for you guys in case you want to play on it or something or like the seed. Cause I have no idea where, like, I guess you wouldn't see this Pokemon center here. Since I spawned it myself. I'll give the seed or the world or something. I'm pretty sure the seed was actually like... We wrote something. I forgot what it was. But it was actually a word. I'm not going underground yet. Because I'm like low-key hoping an ultra wormhole will spawn. But not seeing anything so far. So I think it might be time for a deep dive back underground, guys. Before we do though, I'm going to craft myself at least one more... Pickaxe, maybe a crystal one or sapphire. Sapphire might be better. Uh, is there a like somewhere you can view like the the resistance or not resist, but what's the word called? The durability. Yeah, like how long the pickaxe will last. What's the strongest basically between diamond, sapphire, rubies, amethyst? I mean, I know diamond's probably the best, but I guess between the Pixelmon ones, what's the best? I don't know. Time to find a cave, though. I wish I could find the cave that we were at before. Probably not going to be easy, though, so I guess... Oh, wait. What about this cave right here? We've probably fully explored this cave already since it's right next to our house. But I have a feeling that there might be some stuff we missed. Like, literally right there. We got some more, uh... What is that? Some... Some amethyst? Some purple ore? Got a diglet down there? Oh. There's so many new ores in Pixelmon that I always forget the names of them. Definitely not diamonds, though. I know this one is, uh... Crystal, but... There's something other than crystal here. We got like, hold up, boom. Might be silicone actually. Netherite is better than diamond. Isn't that in the newest update though? Oh my God, there was nothing in this cave, of course. It's too bad that I don't remember exploring this place. I probably would have realized that there's nothing here. Yep, it's just a dead end. Okay, well, time to drink straight down. This definitely won't end badly, right guys? When has digging straight down in Minecraft ever ended badly? One hour later. Oh, wait a minute. What did I say, guys? Come on. I'm a digging genius. I'm a digging connoisseur, dude. And we found ourselves a little ravine, it seems. With a drill burr. <laughs> Not straight down, though. That's true. We didn't actually dig straight down. So maybe don't listen to my advice. All right. Well, this definitely led us around in a circle. But is there going to be anything actually valuable here in this mine? We got to somehow get all the way down there. I'm pretty sure we'll find something good. Oh, God. Oh. Well, well, well. Not diamonds. They look like diamonds, but I know that they're not. All right. I've been fooled before by, by the... What is it? The crystals. The other one was apparently sapphire. Um, does that mean that iron is actually stronger than the the crystals 
I don't know if iron is better. Or more durable, I guess. Or mines faster or whatever. All I know is... Diamonds usually spawn at... Like between 9 and like... It was something like that, right? Between like 9 and 13 or 14. So we're at the perfect height for diamonds right now. We're going to start looking around. What is your Y level? Oh yeah, that's exactly what we're looking at. So we're at 12 right now. 12 is apparently the best, or 11. So around here somewhere, there should be diamonds, my dudes. Usually I look around near lava. Uh, that might be my own personal superstition, but I always feel like I find diamonds near lava. So I'm going to look right around here. Yeah, we're at 12 right now, aren't we? Or wait, we're at 11 technically. Stay at 12. I mean, 12 would be the second layer then, like this one that we're digging right now. B is the best Poke Waifu. Dude, tell me about B in that Pokemon Twilight Wings episode. Have you guys seen it? They, well, the series in general, there's a... Uh, on YouTube, there's an anime called Pokemon Twilight Wings. And it's really good, actually. Like, it's probably better than the actual Pokemon anime that's airing right now. On Netflix or whatever. Um, so there's an episode of Twilight Rings where it focuses on B. Oh my god, dude. I was getting emotional. I'm not even, like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, you know? I don't usually tear up during shows or movies or anything. And I didn't tear up during this one either, okay? But I was very close. When B was, like, training with her Machamp. And, like, she didn't want to give up. Oh, it's so cute, dude. I love it. Bro, Nessa's better. I mean... I'd say they're on par in terms of waifuness. They're both cute. But B is barefoot, though. Oh, wait. No, Nessa isn't barefoot. She she got those pool floaties on her feet, dude. <laughs> but feet, though. That's right. A man of culture, I see. I'm pretty sure that's not diamond either, is it? I hate that that crystals look so much like diamonds, dude. Like, we literally could have just found the diamonds right there, but nope. Instead, we got that. Unless they actually are diamonds, and I, I really can't tell the difference, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, you know what? Whatever. Let's dig him up. Yeah, it's just a crystal. Dang it! Why you gotta do this me? Why you gotta do me like this, Pixelmon? I almost just... Oh, my goodness. Almost fell in the lava there, guys. The real waifu is Chairman Rose. Okay, I don't think anybody could disagree with that one. Bro, even Chairman Rose gets, like, a good... Decent exposure in Twilight Wings. Like... That series is so good compared to the actual Pokemon anime now because I don't know why they decided not to make the new anime based in Galar. I mean, I get that we've been getting the same thing for years. Maybe they wanted to switch it up. And like the fans have been asking them to switch it up for forever. So I guess in terms of doing something different, I get it. But I just want to see all the cool new Galar stuff, dude. Like I want to see my boy Sizzlypede in an anime episode. Now I feel like we're not going to get it for a minute. Because, like, the new... The, the anime with Ash in it now, it doesn't really seem to focus on, like, the Pokemon or the region anymore. It's like... I mean, I, yeah, it does focus on the Pokemon, but... It doesn't feel the same as the Pokemon anime used to. Can you perform another trick shot right now? Uh, I got you, Racco. Hold up. This is going to be a special trick shot, though, okay? It's going to be my finding diamonds right now. Oh, I thought there'd be diamonds right there. Oh, my God. We're in a mine shaft now. Wait, can't there be diamonds in these sometimes? We got crystals and a curse of vanishing enchantment. As well as more coals and torches. I'll take those. I don't really think we need the leaf stone. I feel like those minecarts can sometimes have diamonds in them, though. Might have to call me Dan out here. And I'm not talking A-Drive. What the heck? Dude, we've actually been here before. What the heck, guys? We ended up finding our old mine. What? 
Bro, what are the odds that we found our old mine? I wonder where this leads to now. This is crazy. Become president, then change the clause. Oh my god. Nancy, please, bro, this is so long ago. Oh my god. The Nancy Chronicles. Yo, who remembers the Nancy Chronicles? Oh, I knew that this was close to my house, too. I'd marked it, but I guess not very clearly. Wow, dude, the Nancy Chronicles. Oh my god. Yo, I haven't seen Nancy here in like months now. I'm pretty sure either she quit or got fired. Hopefully she just quit. I don't think she did a bad job or anything. But then again, I don't go to the front desk that often. But damn, no diamond for us, guys. How sad is this? Like, only hope now is that we find an ultra wormhole. Just please, just spawn right now out of nowhere. Right here where it was earlier. Just spawn. Now. Do it. And spawn. Damn it. My manifestation's not working today. Usually I have the, the superpower, but... Whoa, what the heck? Wait, what kind of... Is that a pink bee drill? Yo, I'm pretty sure we've seen that before, but what the heck? We got a pink bee drill out here, guys. Not quite a shiny, but... Kind of a shiny. Let's try to catch it for sure. Oh my god, I'm loving the music today. Mewmore just hits different, man. Like, there is... So many good Pokemon remixers out there, but Mewmore just hits different, dude. It's just a whole different vibe. Such a mood, you could say. Well, this Beedrill is being quite feisty, so I think I'm gonna try to weaken it down and then catch it that way with the Ultra Ball, maybe. I hope that a Aura Sphere doesn't knock it out since it's not very effective. But then again, we have that one ability, the Mega Launcher, which powers up Sphere or Aura, whatever. Whoa, was that a regular Beedrill? How did we just find a, a pink one, though? I don't know what's special about it or if there is anything different in terms of stats, but we'll find out, man. That's right, the Pulse moves, but Aura Sphere counts. I think it's Pulse and, and Sphere moves, like, there's other Spheres, aren't there? Well, I guess just Aura Sphere counts as a pulse move. I don't know. What am I thinking of, dude? There's something I'm thinking of that's not Aura Sphere. Beams? Maybe the beam? I'm probably just thinking of Water Pulse or like Dragon Pulse or something. Dark Pulse too. There's a lot of pulses actually. Hey, there we go. We got the pink bee drill in our PC. Do we actually have a lamp in yet? Nope. Thing just walked right up to us. I was going to challenge it to a battle anyway, but it decided I'm battling you. Origin Pulse. Oh my goodness. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, what? Oh, we caught a fire type Pokemon. Oh my God. I was so confused what the heck the chat was talking about. We caught a fire type Pokemon. That was one of our missions as well. Uh, so now we just need still a shiny. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we got a rare candy. <laughs> Dude, what? I didn't even... Okay. I did not realize I was holding a rare candy in my hand that whole time. Whoa, what is up with this Electabuzz? Man's walking out like... Uh, what's that one meme? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Whoa! Bruh! Ultra Wormhole's back. Okay, we're not wasting the opportunity this time, guys. We're going straight for Ultra Space. Let's go. Oh. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Attempt two. Oh, 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 oh.